Good evening, Samurai! Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio and I will be your guide this evening as we once more... Wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome! How's everyone doing today? Well, I hope we are late, technically. Well, by about 40 minutes, but my family visited, so hey-ho, there we go. We have a job before us, my friends. Hail, Nintendo! Welcome! We have... The, wait, I thought you were streaming this evening. Well, maybe that's Twitter doing the weird thing where it sends me a note of it shows a tweet from 40 billion years ago. But anyway, we have more seeds to collect. We have more of the Akala region to explore. We have a dragon to chase. Nothing to do with drugs, I assure you. Well, there might be alcohol involved. But either way, we have a lot to do and we have not much time to do it. So, I think it's time that we... Set, well, not set up camp. What's the opposite of setting up camp? Whatever that is, it's time for us to get this journey underway at any rate, so come, join me as we once more step foot into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm that is the Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set, and as always, the switch still needs to be turned on. So let's go, shall we? Oh. It says, and I've set the controls, and now I've unset the controls, and now I have set the controls. That works. But that didn't turn the switch on, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, no, sorry, check my schedule on Twitter, but I'm taking a break from uni because it's draining me, so I might fill in for Turbo tomorrow. Fair enough. Fair enough. Have a word with Kev. See if you can go... Uh, <laughs> see if you can take his position in the TDL um, in the last minute continue. Bump. Nintendo. Substitute Turbo Drive Live. That did a thing, but it didn't do a thing. What's the thing it's doing? That's working, but yeah, it's not. What the dickens? Come on, you in. What? Uh, oh, no. Oh, heavens no. No, I do not wish to play in black and white. Thank you. There we go. Weird setting. MOBA. MOBA mode makes the screen monochrome. I have no idea why. Anyway, Easter Color Stables. That's where we are. We have a lot to do. And by a lot, I mean a lot of Koroks to find. The joyous, joyous, fun, ever-lovable Koroks. Did I just want to punt to the nearest river? Because Gordon Bennett is just a pain in the neck. Oh, well, right. We are currently here. Um, so what was the plan? I forget. I think I remember. We start there, go there and work our way down. Then we can work our way there, then there. Then I suppose I can warp there, do those. Warp here, do these, oh, do those. Maybe warp back there, to be honest. Then do all of those, and then do all of those. This is going to take us a while. But you never know, if we make good time on it, we might actually be able to do something fun. <laughs> Okay, admittedly, if I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be streaming this game, but at the same time... Well, okay, maybe I'm not having fun. Well, mm, it's debatable. I'm having fun with the game, but not this ludicrous collecty collecty. Also, I've just realized that is a frug and it is wearing goggles. That is amazing. Where can I get one of these for my garden? Anyway, right, seed. Hey, Epona. Tell you what, you've been a good horse, and technically abandoned by me slightly. Um, yeah, have five apples. Enjoy. Ah, dead guardian. You do gardening often? No, I wish I had a garden. Um. I've gone into it a bit more in the last couple of years. Uh, okay, that's just a lot of dead guardians. That's fine. I was wondering what that was. I thought it was like a, a divine beast that's accidentally fallen upside down. Um, I, I do a bit of gardening here and there. At the minute, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to turn a scrub bit of land by, beside the house with an apple tree into a Japanese moss garden. And if I have great success with it, I might get a couple of Buddha statues and plonk them in there as well to make it look a bit more authentic. Hail, Spud! Welcome. What can I say? I'm, I'm slightly obsessed about Japan. And of course, there's a Korok seed here. 
Well, in fairness, this is an area of the game that I've never actually been. I've never visited this graveyard of guardians, so I suppose the Korok has done something useful. Apart from, you know, give me a seed that adds to a percentage at the end of the game. Um, I was supposed to be looking up something as well before this stream, and I honestly can't remember what it is. So I'm just not going to worry about it for the moment. Right. Now, one across this bridge. Any chance you're going to try and get cherry blossoms? I've been really into pink recently. Uh, we've already got a cherry tree. It doesn't it doesn't produce many cherries, unfortunately, but we've got a cherry tree, and yes, it does produce cherry blossom. Um, uh, down the side, the other side of the house. Our garden sort of goes around the entire house, though we've got a couple of fences and gates to give us security, obviously. Um... Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, Gordon, damn it. Oh, it's got a fire club. Oh, that hurt. Well, <laughs> wait, did I just take... Did him hitting me with his club take out another moblin? That's amazing. Right. I mean, the... I could also boast and say that I have been to Japan during Cherry Blossom season and I saw the Cherry Blossom at the Shrine of the 47 Ronin, but I'm not one to brag, so I shall not brag about that. Oh yeah, this is where the... Thing... Oh, the lanterns are still lit! Why didn't the other one stay lit then? This one's still lit? No, it isn't. This must be corrected immediately. Oh, wait a minute. I can't, actually. Hold it. Oh, I can. I do still have a torch. Oh, and there's a bat. Hey, old hoodlum. Welcome. I just shoot the bat. I can shoot the bat. Marvellous. Bat is now deaded. Uh, as I might be very nearly deaded in a minute. Run away! Bravely ran, Sir Link. He link, he ran, he waved. A link, a link, a link, a link, he bravely ran away. Wait, no, Han. Link is Han Solo, confirmed. Sorry, I'm, I'm just being daft now. Oosh. Oh, I have to go back this way anyway. Bother. And we don't have a Mifa. At least she's currently not got any power. That's unfortunate. They'll endeavour not to die then. We did not come here to die. We came here yesterday. Sorry, dumb joke. I know. Um, no, oh, that one's not lit anymore either. Maybe it was lit. Well, I also see that there's a sleeping cobble in there, so I'm just gonna stab it in the face. Blue would be proud of the pun. Yes, blue would indeed. Are you going doing this thing again with the lights? No, no, we're not. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a torch. Oh, yeah, that's not going to help me at all. Here go, problem solved. Um, and we've got a shield. Right. Uh, I mean, some of them are still lit, so did I just miss them? That's depressing. Oh, well, we're going to make sure we actually light them all. Why? Because I see so, of course. There we go. Ta-da! Ah, that one's not lit. You know, the, considering there's a Korok seed around here, it would not surprise me in the slightest if it turns out that lighting all the torches is the requirement for us to get the Korok seed. I mean, it probably isn't. Probably going to be like, shoot the vase underneath the bridge or something, but either way. There we go. Look at all the pretty lanterns. You know what I also learned today? John Lee from Street Fighter is 54. Technically. 
I think in the game she's like still 17 or something. Oh, hello. What's my phone going off? Um. Oh, that's fine. All right, all fixed. How are you, Ezio? I am all right, little. I am all right indeed. No, I think she's aged through the games. Fair enough. Well, either way, she's 54 now. If you count the how old she was when she debuted in whatever, and well, well I think Street Fighter's been around, came out. What, in 1991, so I think the game's, what, 32, 30, 31, 32 years old. Add that to her current age, and yeah, I think she's 45 or something. There's, a, there's an artwork. She's 17 in Street Fighter 2, though. Oh, maybe not, then. Wait, how old is she in Street Fighter 1, then? Must be 17 as well. Maybe. Possibly. Seriously, where is this seed? Dingus. Actually, entirely possible I'm being thing. Um. Up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think it might be up. Uh, not. Um, how high do we think this cliff is? And do we think that our climbing gear will get us to the top in time? You know what? In for a penny. Oh, right. It Yeah, this climbing gear isn't like the swimming gear. This is... Ah, well, don't quote me on any fighting game story. It's all still so confusing. Now, if you want confusing, there was a, a Dead or Alive game on 3DS. It is one of the first games I got on 3DS. It is the first and only Dead or Alive game I have ever played. And to this day, I still have no idea what the hell was going on. I mean, all of a sudden, there was one scene with a dude just climbing a skyscraper like Spider-Man. For no obvious reason. He just decided to climb the side of a skyscraper. I'm sure there was a reason in the story, but... I <laughs> Smash Bros. has a more coherent... Uh, cohere cohesive? Cohesive story. That's the word we're looking for. Yes, cohesive. Um... Right, do we think we can stand on this ledge here? I mean, I could also just say sod it and... No, the answer to that is no. Right, come on, there must be a way for us to climb up this with little to... No. God, I bet it's raining! Fine. Well, the game doesn't want us to actually climb the mountain, so we're not. We're just going to put on our all our nice armour and we're just going to run up the mountain like we did previously. Yay, rain. That's typical fighting games. Tekken begins with Chachi throwing his young son, Kazuya, into an active volcano. Did he survive? I mean, logic says no, but fighting games do tend to defy logic at times. I mean, look at Chun-Li as a prime example. This is mine. Oh wait, that explains that cutscene from the uh, the um, Tekken X Street Fighter thing previously a year ago. Might have been a year ago. You don't see me. You don't see anyone. Just ignore the link. Yes. Uh oh. Hello, Moblin. Um, in the interest of I don't want to fight these dudes. I'm just gonna run straight past. Ow. Straight past them. No! Ah. Why is this hill full of moblins? Why did the game decide that this is the perfect place for a bunch of more oh, nuts? Where does this one go? Oh, all the way over there. Fantastic.
Right. It's going to be a case that I'll get to the top of this and then I'll just... Oh, I missed a lantern. Okay. Right, well, we'll have to fix that later. Oh, I went out of range. Yeah, we can't do it in, uh, in the dark. Fantastic. Good. Then I love this game. Right. Um, Let's relight this lantern. Game. 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 What the hell? Oh, it's raining. <laughs> that, that would explain why the torch won't light. Raining. Okay, fine. Uh, what was that? I'm imagining things. Torch is badly damaged. We'll be back soon. Fair enough. Have a good one, Adam. Or previous short. Thank you, Mifa. Um, or you know, your uh, BRB. I don't know. We destroyed the lighthouse. Mean. That one. Let's try a different trick. I had, I got an idea for the other day. So we'll save the game, and then we'll load the game. Because previously, this is reloading the game has changed the weather. So if we reload the game now, will it give us better weather? Um, no, it gives us the exact same weather because the game hates me. Good to know. Oh, well, hopefully it'll stop raining by the time we get back to the thing. Because I'm guessing part of this require the part of the race requires us to climb the cliff face rather than the whole running thing. Which would have maybe worked apart from it then decided it didn't want it to. Yeah, there we go, it stopped raining. This is good. This is a good thing. And then, just to make things a smidge easier... No. Oh yeah, they are shorts. Never mind. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. Um, let Let's use the. Yeah, let's uh, yes teleport. This is an idea. We'll We'll do that. <clears throat> I got the Korok seed and nearly got smished by a moblin. Fun. Also, tick that one as complete on map. Awesome. Okay, while well, we're at it. Bomb. This is our torch lighting song. So says I, the great boar hunter. We roll prime meat, boys. Okay, so we can mark that seed. Done. So I would technically need to cross over there again, round the back of the mountain, then get the one further down. 
fun time to wait. Uh, let's put our other arm back on. Give us a bit of protection. Oh, we might be switching back to the mountain climbing gear soon enough. Aha! That is mine now. Right, that is a Korok. Mountain. The skull. I assume the Bacoblins sort of mine out the skulls rather than they just find skull-shaped rocks. I mean, one, I can believe, but there are a lot of these scattered throughout Hyrule. And yes, I don't know why I just said it in such a weird way, but there we go. Me. Nope. Nope. Not today, Mr. Mublin. Be gone with you and your tomfoolery, sir. Um, Arnok Seed is over here, apparently. Oh, I also see a shrine. I'm guessing that's in a different area of the map. Yeah, no. Oh, blimey, that's far into the distance. Seriously, the map feels large and not large at the same time. It's bizarre. Not large. Small, I mean. Uh... Boy. Minecraft stuff there. Um... Right, is this going to be a flower, or is it going to be weaves, or a propeller, or a whatever? Not propeller, windmill, even. Or is it going... Hello. Or is it going to be one of those things where it's going to be a vase in a hole in the tree? You're a big lizard. There we go. Um, the high tail lizard's always been that big. Must be. can't imagine the game's programmed with... The devs programmed multiple sizes of Hightail lizards into it. I'm missing something. What? Hmm. I mean, okay, I am a dingus, but still. Um... There we go. We now have an improved squirrel picture. There's a squirrel I come across at work. <laughs> a few occasions I've actually been walking into the into the building I work in and it's just all of a sudden there's squirrels in, across my path and it's just, Good morning, Mr. Squirrel. What are you doing here? And then it scampers off up a tree, as squirrels do. Um, oh, seriously, where is this seed? Here. I demand the game tell me where it is. Ah, no, that's not. Um. Okay. Eat them. Ah. Apparently, there is a single rock under some leaves. Question is, where are the leaves? give me an indication? Or am I literally just going to have to make fire and burn everything? 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. Switch my arrows back to my normal arrows as well. How Link doesn't cause a forest fire in this game, it's just completely beyond me. Then again, how could we create a forest fire when it rains so bloody much? Alright, that's another seat done. That is a great many done. Right, so from here it's to the... then the... Then... I might just glide across. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Which way am I facing? Opposite direction to where I need to go. Wait. To be honest, I should just adjust the camera, but whatever. Oh, look. That's a... Oh. Yeah, I suddenly get why there are boulders over here. Oh, no. Not another golf game. Um, oh, actually, it... Oh, no. Oh, I hated this one previously. Right, fine. So, smash the boulder into the hole. What could possibly go wrong? Um. Am I doing this wrong? Please tell me I'm doing this wrong. Game, just, just please, please tell me I'm doing this wrong. Please tell me I don't actually have to roll the boulder into the into the big hole. Can I do it from the other direction? I don't load just so I can keep my weapons. Um... Let's go and investigate this hole. Hopefully there's the boulder in the other direction, but knowing my luck, there probably isn't. I mean, I could always try pushing the boulder all the way over there. But it tells me, something tells me that trying to roll the boulder uphill is probably not going to work. Anyway, we're lazy, so we can always just safe scum back to the top of the hills. Oh, I could have used the teleport. Huh. Oh, well, too late now. Is there a hole on the boulder the other side? Can I just roll something downhill? No. No. Fine. Okay. Can I be lucky and one of them is actually magnetic? Because, shockingly enough, I really don't want to press around with trying to fire boulders across the map. Um... Nope. Fine. That's the challenge is that I have to roll the boulder across the map without alerting the Lionel.
Yes, I am doing this the stupid way. Go in the hole? I'm guessing it didn't go in the hole. Where's it gone? Uh, gone all the way. Has it gone over the cliff? They have gone over the cliff. Well, that's not annoying in the slightest. Okay. Right. Okay, it, it stopped there, so we could potentially fix this by rolling it or we hit it gently with stasis a few times hmm well the game auto saved so we could technically use that to our advantage um all this into the hole I've just lost my the thing. Um nope. Nope, 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 no, nope. Link, stop. Oh god damn it. Right, fine. Let's see if the autosave has saved us. Um that one, yes. Ah uh, right. Oh. What's the other one then? Now I'm curious. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, crumbs, right? Fine. Um... Well, I didn't bleed and work, did it? Alright, try that again. Oh, wait, that was the auto sip. Ah! Well, that said perfect doggo then. It's just, what? <laughs> or perfect doge. Um. Yes, I am safe, scummy. No, I don't cut. <laughs> I'm seriously, I seriously don't care. I hate these sorts of puzzles. I absolutely despise them. Because I can never get the blasted aim of the thing right. And I have to burn my weapons. Oh, 
Oh wait, that's right in the line of the line, wasn't it? At least there was a line all here. Oh yeah, there's a line all there. No, we're not doing that. Shockingly enough. Yeah, that didn't work. Welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to... the next two hours of me bashing my sword against a rock in an attempt to get it into a hole. Oh, I'm going to stop right there, actually. Um... <laughs> Well, kind of got there, ish. Okay, I concede. <laughs> Is there a guide on this one? Being a wait a minute. What if I'm thinking of this in the wrong way? What if these boulders are actually a red herring? And there's actually another boulder miles away in the opposite direction that I just roll down a hill. Because it's evident here that my a full whack of stasis isn't going to get the boulder in the right location. So could it very well be that there's actually a boulder at the top of that hill over there and I just have to roll it down? Well, then again, the trees are positioned in a way that that makes it a difficult object, but... Hmm. Only one way to find out. We've got a manual save anyway, so we can always set, take ourselves back. Excuse me. Dee 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 dee. 